Hi, my name is Gil Reynolds for Fuse Master Products, and I'm going to show you how to identify the tin side of a piece of window glass or float glass. When float glass is manufactured, they float it across a bed of molten tin. That tin leaves a residue that you can't see with the naked eye. You can identify it with a short wave UV light. Why would we want to know where the tin side is? The tin side doesn't devitrify, so when we fire it, we're going to put the tin side up. The tin also will react with some enamels, uh, powders, paints. So often when we're painting on the glass, we'll know, want to know which side is the tin side and what, which side is the non-tin side. And usually we paint on the non-tin side. I've got some batteries inside here. And we're going into a dark room, and I'm going to show you how to use a UV light. All right, I have a piece of 3 16 float. I've marked one side with an A. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at it on edge and I'm gonna roll the light, this is the front, and then roll it around to the back. But I have to do this at an angle. So go ahead and turn off the lights, please. Here I am on the front, I'm not seeing much. But when I go around to the back side, see that white glow? That's the tin side. You don't wanna look at the light. The light's not good for your eyes. Go ahead, lights again. Let's turn it over. Lights again. Thank you. So we've got the tin now is on the front side. And when we go around to the back, there's no glow. So it just, yep, there's the tin side right there. Great. Lights. When we go to fire it, if I'm going to fuse it and I don't want the vit, I'll put the tin side up. And if I'm using enamels, I'll put them on the non-tin side. Thank you for watching.